Yeah, um, obviously just want to congratulate Florida Gulf Coast and, and Carl. Uh, just an amazing program. I mean, this isn't a one-off. This is what he does every year. Wins 30 games and comes in underseated and and plays just an unbelievably seasoned, tough uh, game. And, you know, I just felt like we didn't quite get a handle of how to guard him. I thought we made enough mistakes in the first half, and I really thought we would clean it up. And then that third quarter just um, – really did us under a little bit, giving up 30 points. But it's a credit to them and, and their style of play and the toughness that they are as a team and a program. And uh, we just couldn't quite match um, uh, match them. We didn't guard them good enough to give ourselves a chance to win tonight. Questions for the student athletes, please. Right here, waiting for the microphone, please. Hi, Howard McDowell at the next. Um, congratulations to you both on the seasons that you've had. I, I just, I just wonder, you know, with the Pac-12 tournament being, you know, a good week and a half, almost two weeks, um, in in the past now, was it a challenge to kind of stop and start again the way that you guys did? Um, I think that's. I'm thinking a lot of things actually. Um, I think it is hard, you know, when you don't. Um, you haven't played a game in a while, but I don't think that's an excuse in our performance coming out tonight. I think we had enough time to prepare and really lock in. But again, like Coachy was saying, we just um, too many mistakes from our end on, you know, defensive schemes and going into the game. That's something you have to be so locked into. And I don't think we were in that first half. And again, credit to um, that team that they're, they're a really good team. And, um, you know, I think they'll do really well going forward. Um, but yeah, I don't think that's really, you know, much of an excuse. It is hard to, you know, come in obviously like that, but I think it was just more on us not um, being locked in and prepared enough. Just one more, if I, if I could for you. You know, you and your sister have come to define this program in so many different ways. You know, is it um, a comfort to you in this moment to know, like, you have another year to come back to be able to, um, to do more, um, you know, with the program next year? Um, yeah, it is. Um, you know, I, there's so many things that I need to work on individually in my own game and um, really, especially in, you know, these big games and big moments, I just, you know, feel horrible about my performance tonight and how I kind of performed for the team. So definitely um, need to go away and work on a lot of things and obviously very, very hungry to come back and help this team get past that first round. Obviously, the last three years, um, we haven't managed to do that. And so that's something that's definitely personal for me that I want to help this team do. So yeah, going forward, it's definitely, I guess you can take it in a positive way too. And, you know, think of how much we have accomplished mm -hmm. as a team. And, you know, I'm so proud of how we've come uh, performed throughout the season. Um, I think the most wins we've ever had this season, you know, we won the Pac-12, it's just something unheard of and in most people's eyes impossible for us to do. So I don't want to take anything away from our season and what we have done. Um, just, you know, it, only one team wins their last game in this tournament, so it's hard, but yeah. Thank you, guys. Additional quick right here. I, I guess I'll direct this to Ula. Um, did their, their style of play, was that, was that something that maybe a, caught you guys a little off guard? Was that something that you'd seen before or something you expected them kind of uh, using the speed and, and, and going at you guys like that? Yeah, um, they're a very unique team, like Coach G said. I don't think anyone in the pack especially um, plays the way they do. They spread you out really well, and they just force you to guard one-on-one, -on -one. and they're a tough matchup, obviously, because they can shoot the three ball really well. And um, I think at the end of the of the day, we, the players, mainly, whoever is out there on the court just didn't do their job and, like Lee said, uh, made a lot of crucial mistakes that, obviously, I mean, you look at the third quarter, they blew us out and that's um, pretty much where it went downhill from there, but, yeah. Any other questions here? One more? Uh, Charlie, was it maybe that they did in, in, their, in their game plan to, to uh, limit you in some way tonight or was there anything special or anything that you could notice that they were like keying in on you um i don't know if it was specifically schemed against me maybe it was um but you know my like i still got up shots i just didn't really hit them 
Um, and again, they're a great defensive team. You know, they have a lot of pressure on the ball and they kind of get you out of offensive schemes, which is, again, something you have to adjust to on the fly. And I don't think that me personally, I didn't do that well enough. And as a team, we didn't adjust quickly enough to those schemes. Um, but yeah, I think they just took a lot of us out of, you know, what we're kind of used to and comfortable doing. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thank you. We'll excuse you guys. Thanks, Charlie. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Questions now for Coach, please. Right down here to Howard. Oh, we got uh, in that that third quarter. Uh, what did it seem to be the, the turning point, or, or how did they maybe? come out a little differently and, and try to attack you guys in that one? I mean, uh, again, it's a, it was a little bit different. And, and we, we made enough mistakes in the first half, just how we were going to guard the ball screen um, and worked on it all week and just really just couldn't. And, again, it, that's the hard part is you're putting bigs in ball screens and and just a, they were it was a little bit out of their comfort. Um, as much as we worked on it, I thought we would be a little bit better at that. Uh, and then they, they did get some just – Dribble drive, downhill, angled. Uh, again, bigs out there trying to guard one-on-one -on -one from the three-point line to the rim. Uh, it's just not their comfort. So it was just a, a, um, a competition of styles. We couldn't get to our advantage <coughs> with the, the size that we had in the post. And, and they took advantage of our bigs on the perimeter with the ability to get by us. And we, we, didn't, we didn't do the right things in some of their dribble drive stuff. So some of our mistakes, some of our, you know, it, again, the – the contrast of styles and and who can get to the advantage based on their your style and and we just did not score enough in the paint um, we didn't take advantage there some some with foul trouble and then obviously just losing losing a little bit of uh, uh, losing a little bit in the third quarter Howard I'm coach Howard Magdal at the next um Shirley's talked about this a little bit um, about the things she's working on what are those what are those things that you want to see in her game between now and when you guys hit the floor in November well I just still think there's a lot of growth for her her one-on-one -on -one individual moves before she puts the ball on the ground needs to get better I think any the really good players in this league uh, in the in the country are really good at that uh, especially as much pressure as they put on her 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 outside shots just got to become a little bit more of a sniper like you know and, and it started the season that way I think the disruption of her being with us really kind of hurt her flow that she was in uh, but clearly I think she has the ability to shoot a higher percentage um, you know we just have to do a better job as coaches of getting her to good spots on the floor but her post-up game could get better. You know, again, we have, we've had one summer to work with her on kind of really her individual stuff. We'll get her again this summer. Um, and uh, she's playing, you know, for her national team. So a lot of that isn't working on necessarily her, her, her individual stuff. So um, we'll get real concentrated and real detailed about how we can improve her game and, and – um, obviously put her in better positions on the floor where she's more effective. And you answered my follow-up question about her in terms of national team, but for you guys, just, you know, coming up against FGCU, where we see this every year, like you said, under every year, at a certain point, you know, there, it's unfair to FGCU, it's unfair to teams that have to play them in the first round. Do you think that FGCU has earned the right to be better seated on an annual basis than they are at this point? I mean, it's just really hard. I'm sure the committee does as good as they can do, but... Um, they put a lot of weight on how you finish the season, and and again, the power conferences get a lot of. Um, I, thankfully, I'm happy about that <laughs> that we have a we carry a lot of weight. But I do think Carl has earned a lot. He's at least within the coaching community. I mean, I can't tell you the number of people I know. There was a collective. Oh, poor Washington State when that came up because of the respect that people have for Carl and what he does. Again, styles, it, his style might not match with someone else, you know. You know, that's the thing. He might not – it might have been a perfect matchup for him in this set, setting. That's, I think that's the thing about the NCAA tournament. It is all about your matchups and, and how that's, – that's why you go or don't go. Uh, and we just – we came up against someone that we really didn't guard good enough and didn't keep that game close enough to give us a chance to win at the end. Colton Clark had spoke from review in Washington. Um, that uh, uh, what, what besides foul trouble, maybe what made it difficult on on Bell and Charlize to to get them going? Uh, 
do you think, or was it just one of the Well, I mean, night? they were really good at their ball screen. They kind of kept us to a sideline, but they, they, you know, they, all, we just, I felt like we were teeing up the ball screen offense a little bit, and we couldn't get our bigs to, to get out of those and, and to create an advantage. I mean, that's the point. We've got to, if you're going to, whatever you're running, you've got to create an advantage. And they did a really good job of kind of slowing us down and making us double think and, and hold on to the ball a little bit too much. They had a lot of pressure. I mean, honestly, we probably just need players that are really a little bit better at ripping and going past that kind of pressure like they did to us. And we're a little bit more system oriented. Again, things that a lot of our players can get better at. Um, and, um, you know, and, and miss some bunnies, miss some easy shots, miss some things at the free throw line that may have kept, could have kept us in it. Uh, again, just can't, you got to find ways to stay in games. And we just didn't quite do that enough tonight. And obviously, I know it's tough to stomach and the three straight. What, what do you say to the, to the team after, after the game? I mean, again, there's just so many great moments of this season that, that we're going to celebrate and, and not forget. But I hope it's a gut punch for the ones that are coming back. And, you know, my, my worry and my, my sadness really falls on the fact that we just couldn't do it for our seniors, Eminem, Curvis, Grace Sarver, and, and Ula. Those three, we, they are just good as, good as gold and character and loyalty and, and the standard that they carried, the, the voice that they were that sense of humor that they are. I mean, everything about them on and off the court is just exactly what we want our program to be about. And I'm sad for our program that we couldn't have done it for them. That's, that's, the, big, that's the biggest regret that I have right now. Everybody else gets another chance. Put yourself in the, in the game, put yourself in the arena. And uh, if you do that enough times, you're gonna, you're gonna knock through some, some doors. We did, we did that at the Pac-12 tournament this year. Um, we, we have some work to do to get further in the NCAA tournament.